What it was then was a diary. So each record store that was on the list of how they calculated the chart had a diary. And so back in those days, what used to happen was someone would come in and buy a record. They'd pay their money for the record. They'd exit with their record. The dealer would then write down the number of the record in their diary and quantity one and then at the end of the week this diary would go back to London and they would add up all the numbers of all the records that had been sold that were registered in the diary and that would be the chart that was broadcast on a Sunday night on the radio. At that point in time the way the recording industry had developed, people were beginning to understand the chart and its power, I suppose. And so while the radio and TV people were still all about, you know, getting exposure, the chart was becoming more and more important. And so record sales uh, had started and basically they were doing rack jobbing like they did in America. So it, in very simple terms, all that happens there is you put free records into the record store so your records are at risk of being bought. So the, the, the record dealer has not purchased them, he's going to make 100% profit on it, and, but the one thing that you know is your record is in the chart return store so that if it's sold, it adds to your chart position. The second part of that was, seems naive now, but back in the day, every record that those people were working on, record sales, they would go into the store and pull their album to the front of, you know, category C or category B or R. Or, so you'd constantly be pulling the record to the front of the store so that when somebody walked into the store, they at least saw your record probably first before they started doing this and flicking through what they wanted. So it was putting your records at risk of being bought and people found that if you did that and you did that in chart return stores, then your chart position, you know, the press make it out that this would make your record go in the top 10. Absolute rubbish. You know, what it did was if you focused on it in that way, then if your record was going to come in the chart, for instance, at number 35, if you'd done the rack jobbing and put your records in the right place, your record could probably come in the chart at 29 rather than 35. That it was, it was degrees, not, you know, all this hyping thing that goes on. There are some great hyping stories, but you know, the basic business of it was increasing your chart position.